crafting friends. I'm coming today with a project share and um, this is a card that I made for my husband's secretary at work and I was out of town during the week of her birthday and I always try to make her cards and um, she loves my handmade cards. So, um, and it's also going to be for a use your stamps. Um, I'm going through and slowly reorganizing um, each section of my craft room and getting rid of stuff that, you know, it's not my style. I kept it, um, you know, because it was gifted to me. But there's no point in keeping stuff like that if it's not your style, it's not your colors. It's just going to sit in here and take up space and not get used. And I've just kind of been, sometimes I'm the type of person that really hinders my crafty mojo, so I'm trying to do some purging, but I have bought a bunch of my Creative Time stamps. Um, I love their stamps and die sets. Um, I follow all their releases and get a lot of them, but it seems like sometimes you can get so many stamps that there's no possible way you can ever, you know, even ink a lot of them up. So I'm going to show you the stamp. Set. So it is called um, Light the Candles. It's a birthday stamp set. And um, there's the dies that match it. And I had not inked this up yet. So, um, like I say, it's um, Steph, who's Brown Baby Craftaholic, and Kim Possible. They're doing a user stamp. So, this is um, a card for that. And I always try and make her like. A think outside the box card shall we say like a different fold or some kind of a fancy card and um, it seems like I'm kind of running out of options but I had um, at my local craft warehouse craft store um, hot off the press I've made these box cards before and tried to follow tutorials and they just turned out awful like the measurements and that I don't do well sometimes with the I could do half and three quarters, but you got the five eighths and the seven eighths, and ugh, I I just don't do well with the measuring. So I found these, and let me show you the packaging. So um, it, it's just it comes in. It's like a little kit. So you got the pattern, you got you know everything you need, directions, how to do it. So I thought that would be a way to do a pretty fairly quick and simple um, card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one of the cards for a sample and I'm going to measure it and write all the measurements on it so I can cut my own after that. So this is what I did. I finally used up um, the last of my Prima Madeline paper pad that Irene, Crafty Irina, had gifted to me. So yay, that felt absolutely fabulous. I'm trying to do that as well. I really haven't been buying paper pads. I have two big art satchel tubs full of 6x6 six six paper pads, and that's crazy. I went through them all, and the paper pads that, you know, in some paper pads, you love, like, most of it, but there are some sheets that they're just in the paper pad that you're never going to use. It's not your style, not your color. So I went through and got rid of a bunch of those, and, um gave a bunch of them to my daughter to add to her crafting stuff when I went up to visit her. So um, anyway, I did this really fun card. So I used um, this piece of paper here. I did all underneath it. Um, just a really fun. And then this here, I just um, put some white cardstock and inked the edges with my um, chalk ink because I'm going to, then we, he can write his message there for her. And these were cutouts from the paper, and I just really loved them. So I added those on the little flaps. And then here's where I used the little dies from the Light the Candles from my Creative Time. Um, and so I just um, paper pieced them with some paper, paper pieced the little cherry, used my Martha Stewart glitter markers on the candles, and then used this beautiful... Um, Recollections Butterfly that Kathy, who's Scrappy Caddy, had just gifted to me. And then this is a um, another stamp from a stamp set I got in a D-Stash here on YouTube. And I have used that stamp set so much. It's from Shabby Stamp Company or Shabby Chic Stamp Company. And I just love all the sentiments and the fonts and stuff. So that's the Happy Birthday 
So I hope um, she likes it and it felt great to finally get to use um, one of my new Creative Time stamp sets. So thank you ladies for watching and happy crafting.